Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid fuzzy PSO MEPD for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and turn on notif notification button for notification about upcoming videos. So let's start with hybrid fuzzy PSO MEPD. So this is a model is developed in the MATLAB for hybrid PSO MBPT. So it consists of solar PV and then a boost converter and then load and then it contain a PSO algorithm and then Fuzzy algorithm. So here that uh, that uh, based upon the change in power. So here we are measuring the power, and then here we calculate the change in power. So based upon the change in power, the switching will be happen in between PS2 and uh, Fuzzy. So here we are going to hybrid in, hybrid the, the fuzzy MBPT with the PSO MBPT in order to extract the maximum power from this solar PV panel. So here you can see that so this is the model we are used here that means we are used this uh, 200 watts PV panel and then the open circuit for this panel is around 32.9 volt and voltage at maximum power point is around 26.3 and then the short circuit current of the panel is 8.21 and then current at maximum power point is 7.61 and also here i am going to draw the pv and iv characteristics of the, the consider panel so i am going to fix the irradiation is 400 600 800 and then 1000 watts per meter square and then I am going to check the power level. So when the irradiation is equal to 400 watts per meter square, the power, the maximum power is around 81.16 watts. So for 600 watts per meter square, the maximum power is 121.8. For 800 watts per meter square, the maximum power is 161.5. For uh, 1000 watts per meter square, the maximum power is around 200.1. Okay. So we need to extract that maximum power from the PV panel. So by means of uh, MBPT algorithm. So the goal of MBPT. So we need to extract the maximum power from that PV panel. So based upon that condition, environmental condition like. Uh, for a particular irradiation level or particular temperature level of the solar PV cell, so we need to extract the, the exact maximum point from the PV panel. So, when you extract the maximum power, then we can replace the, the maximum power from the PV panel to the load. Okay. So, in order to extract the maximum power, so here, here we have uh, the boost converter in between solar PV array and then load okay so the boost converter going to be adjust the output voltage and current so in order to extract the maximum power P power from the PV panel so based upon the the duty cycle generated by means of this MBPT algorithm okay so here we need to measure the PV detail right so here we have to measure the PV detail and then we have to measure PV voltage and current. So by using uh, that uh, voltage and current you have to calculate the power. Okay. So here you can see that here we are calculating the power here by means of uh, PV voltage and uh, PV current. Okay. So if this uh, direct change will be used to for so whenever that uh, uh, any changes in the irradiation so what will be happen that the power of the PV panel will be, will be changed the power and current of the PV panel so that should be detected by means of that uh, 
some algorithm so for that only we use this detect change algorithm so based upon the changes in the PV panel so we need to reset the, the PS algorithm right so what happened initially it will be for example the PV panel operated in some operate, operating condition like 1000 watts per meter square 20 degrees Celsius so after some time it changed to 800 watts per meter square so so what will be happen when it changed to 800 watts per meter square so what uh, we need to change right we need to change the duty cycle in order to extract the maximum power during that particular condition 800 watts per meter square so for that you need to reset the ps algorithm so in order to reset the ps algorithm we need to use this reduction change based upon the pv power and the current of the pv pan okay so automatically it will be reset the PS algorithm and then, and then the PSO will be uh, adjust the duty cycle not extract the maximum power and also here we can uh, you, can, you can see that uh, uh, we use that for CMBPT okay the, here we need to measure the PV voltage and then the, the PV voltage going to be processed via that means it's compared with that maximum power point voltage so from that we have error and then we have change of error so error change of error will be input for the first logic control this first logic will be generated the duty cycle for the uh, next stage okay so ps2 as well as and first is going to be generated the duty cycle so here we need to combine these two algorithm concept first in pso right so for that we, we here we are using that uh, condition right switch condition right so based upon the change in power so here you can see that we are measuring that power and then i am going to delay the power and then i am calculating here is change in power so based upon change in power right here we provide some condition for switching right so based upon the change in power we have to decide whether we have to use for c or pso right so so based upon the condition is fixed in this switch case right the duty cycle will be taken from the pso or fuzzy logic okay so and then it going to be processed by a pwm generator so this pwm generator going to be generate the pulse for that boost converter so boost converter going to be adjust the output voltage and current as well as tv voltage and current in order to extract the maximum power from the pv panel so this is the working of this model and here you can see that we are measuring uh, uh, the detail of load uh, load voltage load current and uh, load power okay and also here we are measuring that uh, pv voltage pv current pv power so just we, we let we compare the result for different irradiation condition so so here uh, already simulate the model right the model will be take some time to simulate uh, okay so i will simulate this model so here you can see that every 0.2 seconds uh, i am going to vary the irradiation from 400 600 800 and 1000 okay so every 0.2 seconds the irradiation will be changed and current corresponding result going to be measured and uh, we are going to discuss now right so this is the result we are obtained from that to solar pv and load okay so here you can see that that uh, the pv voltage right the pv voltage is uh, is maintained around 26 volt right because you can see that uh, for different cases right i am going to open this uh, ib pv cat 6 here you can see that the voltage of See, so voltage will be 26.51 so for 400 watt per watts per meter square for 600 is around 26.8 here for 800 is 26.45 for 1000 is around 26.3 okay the voltage will be is in and, in and, in and around uh, 26.2 to 26.6 okay so here you can see that right and the pv voltage right here you can see that oh sorry so this is pv measurement 
so this is the load measurement okay so here you can see that the, the pv measure the pv voltage right the pv voltage i uh, take the average right the pv voltage maintain around 26 volt uh, 26 point uh, 4 volt right so uh, for uh, for changing ready condition that means here the irradiation will be changed for every 0.2 second from 400, 600, 800, 1000, right? For different irradiation condition, here you can see that the PV voltage is maintained at the constant around 26, around 26.2 to uh, 26.6 volt, right? So it will be maintained in between these limits, okay? And also you can check that the load voltage, right? So what will be happen, right? Here, so because of change in irradiation, here you can see that the load voltage going to be very okay because this system systems operating at the standalone concept right so what will what is happen in this model right so mbpd going to adjust the duty cycle in order to maintain that uh, pv voltage around 26 point uh, to 26.6 volt right so when you have to maintain the old uh, voltage is in between 26 point to 26 point uh, 6 volt right what happened we can uh, we can accept the maximum power from the solar peak so this is that is a concept in the uh, this mbpd algorithm for the solar pv system and also you can see that for every uh, change in irradiation condition the current of the pv panel also will be changed okay so that is also you can check in the pv cat 6 pv and iv cat 6 also so here you can check that one <coughs> For, you can see that for, for 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 different condition of irradiation you can see that the current also going to be changed right so i'm going to fix some value here so it's around three uh, three amps so this is around four point four point six amps so this is around six amps so this is around seven amps right so you can see that right for different irradiation condition also you can see that it's maintained around 3 amps, it, it maintained around 4.5 amps. So it, it maintained at 4 or 6 point, 6 point something, 6.2 amps, right? Here you can see that it maintained around 7, 7 or 7.2 uh, amps, right? So for different irradiation, it also the current also maintained at uh, that peak point current level, right? So here you can see that the power level, uh, I'm going to use this and um, I'm going to analyze the things so here you can see that i'm going to measure the pv power so here you can see the pv power is around 78 right 78 78.21 watts the actual theoretical value is around 81 right uh, and then i'm going to change the point so here you can see that the PV power is around uh, 120 watts, right? Actually, will be 128.8 something, right? And then you can, I'm going to move this point here, right? Here you can see that the maximum power around is 161.1. The theoretical value is around 161.8 watts, right? And I'm going to change the point here. The, the, the maximum point is around 200 watts. Here we are getting 190 watts from the PV panel so so we are extracting the maximum power from the PV panel okay uh, by means of this hybrid for CPSO MBPT algorithm and also you can see that the efficiency of the system right so here I am measuring that uh, uh, load power and then PV power and then I am cal calculating the efficiency the efficiency of the systems around 98.41 percentage for a particular uh, system okay so this is the working of this uh, hybrid for cps mbpt for the solar pv system so thanks for watching our videos so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and turn on the notification button for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye